Yes, to God be the glory. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, God. Oh, glory to his name. Good morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to his name. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Glory. Hallelujah. Come on in. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Glory. Hallelujah. I do not own the rights to this music. That is the great soul seekers. Singing is all God. Yes. <laughs> to God be the glory. Good morning. Wonderful, wonderful morning in the name of Jesus. To God be the glory. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes. It's all God. Hallelujah. Yes, God, good morning. Come on in and let us fellowship together. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yes, God, we got Agnes on here. Good morning, Vern. Good morning, T. So happy to see my ministers, men's family. It's all God. Woo! Yes, God. Yes, God. Oh, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, to God be the glory in the name of Jesus. They say, I could say it's all good, but I know better. It's all God. Hallelujah. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Good morning. This is Worship Wednesday. Minister's Minutes with Minister Tolliver, where we fellowship on worship, word, and wisdom. Hallelujah. I do my very best to come before you Monday through Friday at 11.30 a.m. Central Standard Time. To God be the glory. Give God some praise. Hallelujah. So happy and blessed to be before you once more and again in the name of Jesus. Oh, God has a wonderful word for us on today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, God, yes. Let us worship him in spirit and in truth. Good morning and hallelujah. Oh, God, we thank you right now, God. Hallelujah. We worship you, God, because we know it's all you, God. There's nothing we do and nothing we say and no place that we go, Father, that is not anointed and appointed by you, God. In the name of Jesus, Father, we worship you. We adore you. We lift your name on high this morning, God. In the name of Jesus, oh God, we exalt you. Hallelujah. We praise your name, Father, because you are worthy of all the honor, all the glory, and all the praise, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The highest praise, God. We give you the highest praise, God, because you deserve it. You deserve all the honor, the glory, and the praise. We thank you, God, for food and clothing and shelter. We thank you, God, for being in our right minds. We thank you, God, for a reasonable portion of health and strength. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we lift you up and we thank you for your grace and mercy. We thank you that you're God by yourself. We thank you that you make a way out of no way. Hallelujah. God, thank you in the name of Jesus. Glory to your name right now. Glory to your name, Father. In the name of Jesus. God, we thank you for Jesus. We thank you for the Holy Spirit, God. Oh, dwell among us right now, God. Inhabit our praise, God. Bless this message as only you can. Anointed, God, so that it may change someone, that it may turn the atmosphere, God. In the name of Jesus, let no one leave here after this message, God, and be the same as they came. Hallelujah. Bless all those under the sound of my voice, God. 
God. Bless all those who would share, God, in the name of Jesus. God, hide me behind the cross, God, in the name of Jesus, that only your message would be seen, Father, and let it fall on fertile ground. Oh, glory to your name. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, God, we worship you, we honor you, and we adore you, God. Mm, yes, God, in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Give God some praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So happy to be together with you once more and again. God is not playing with us today. Ooh, glory to God. Lift up holy hands and thank him for his word. In the name of Jesus, to God be the glory. Mm. Ministers Minutes with Minister Tolliver, where we fellowship on worship, word, and wisdom. To God be the glory, where we are liable to interrupt your scrolling and park on your page with a message from the Lord. <laughs> to God be the glory. Hallelujah. I want to say happy birthday to all the birthdays being celebrated and all anniversaries of joy, weddings, babies being born. We must always remember to God be the glory that God gives us joy in the midst of, in spite of. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank God for such a wonderful, wonderful worship time. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, God. Mm. Give him honor, give him glory, and give him praise. Yes, God. Mm. Yes, God, this is Worshiping Wednesday. To God be the glory. And let us go into the word. Yes, indeed. I love his word so much. And I know you do too. Amen. Amen. The message scripture text that we are having on today is coming from Colossians chapter 2, verses 6 through 10. Amen. Colossians chapter 2, verses 6 through 10. 10. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us prepare ourselves to go into the word. All minds clear, all hearts open. Amen. Yes, God. I'll be reading from the NIV version. And the word of the Lord reads as thus. So then, just as you received Christ Jesus as Lord, continue to live your lives in him, rooted and built up in him, strengthening, strengthened in the faith as you were taught and overflowing with thankfulness. See to it that no one takes you captive through hollow and deceptive philosophy which depends on human tradition and the elemental spiritual forces of this world rather than on Christ. For in Christ, all the fullness of the deity lives in bodily form. And in Christ, you have been brought to fullness. He is the head over every power and authority. Mm, yes, God. Hang your head right there in the name of Jesus as God brings a blessing to the reading, hearing, and doing of his most holy word. Yes, God. Thank you, Jesus. The message that God says that he wants us to get down in our spirit and in our hearts on today is rooted to grow. Yes, God. Yes, God. Rooted to grow. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. To God be the glory. And so let us unpack the word. Amen. So in, in verse six, verse six says, so then just as you receive Christ Jesus as Lord, continue to live your lives in him. Amen. We cannot perfect in the flesh what began in the spirit. Hallelujah. Just as you received Jesus, walk in him the same way. What does that mean? Do, I want you to recall to yourselves 
the first time, hallelujah, you received Jesus, when you first turned your life over to Christ, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, you remember that joy and zeal and oh my goodness, how deeply rooted in him you were and how how you just wanted to know all about him and read all his word and seek him and pray to him and spend all your time with him. Oh, glory to God. Just as that moment was, hallelujah, your walk should continue to be that way all the time continuously, amen? All the time continuously. Just as you receive Jesus, Continue to live your lives in him. Hallelujah. Continue the same way when, they, when you found him, when you released yourself and you surrendered to him and said, Jesus, take my life in your hands. I can't do it no more. I want you to do it. Hallelujah. And that very moment, all that happiness, all the anxiety was gone and all the zeal was there to know him and to seek him and to search for him. Hallelujah. Just as you had that then, hallelujah, you must continue to keep that continuously throughout your walk. Always being reminded of the things we have been taught. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, Holy Spirit. Verse seven says, rooted and built up in him, strengthened in the faith. Hallelujah. Get that. Rooted and strengthened in the faith. Hallelujah. Rooted and built up in him, strengthened in the faith as you were taught and overflowing with thankfulness. Remember when we first met Jesus, we first got saved and we first surrendered our lives. Hallelujah. We were thankful for everything all the time. Amen. And this is what the word is telling us to continue to do. Hallelujah. If it's a reminder to God be the glory that what we were rooted in is building us up. Hallelujah. And we must always be overflowing with thankfulness. Yes. God. In our walk, we are rooted, amen? Growth only occurs with being rooted as, as with good seed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The deeper and wider the roots, the stronger and taller the growth. Oh, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Christ Jesus builds us as we are rooted. How? Rooted to grow. Yes, God, thank you, Lord rooted to grow. Hallelujah. Verse eight says, see to it that no one takes you captive through hollow and deceptive philosophy, mm, which depends on human tradition and the elemental spiritual forces. Amen. Hollow and deceptive philosophy. Amen. Which is stemming from the traditions of man. What does that mean? Well, we know that there are no denominations in the word. Amen. So there are so many man-made rules and traditions under all these different denominations that man also made. Amen. That they will pour out onto you those philosophies and traditions. And if they aren't rooted in Christ, write this down. If it's not rooted in Christ, hallelujah, it's hollow. Yes, God. Yeah, come on, Holy Ghost. Teach right now in the name of Jesus. And the word is saying, as you are rooted and built up in Christ and strengthening your faith, see to it that you are not held captive, amen, through hollow and deceptive philosophy. What does that mean? You know, in many places, people are turned away or shunned or looked down upon or judged because of how they dress or how they speak or where they came from or what they got or their financial status. You understand me? In the name of Jesus, God is saying today, do not be led astray in hell captive by that. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, see to it that you are not taken captive by hollow and deceptive philosophy that is rooted in man. Oh, come on, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Basically, if it feels wrong, it is wrong. 
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Come on, Holy Ghost. Yes, God, yes. In the name of Jesus. Verse 9 says, For in Christ all the fullness of the deity lives in bodily form. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. In Christ is all the fullness of God in the bodily form of man. Mm, come on, Holy Spirit, teach. We want to call your mindset to John 1 and 14, where the word became flesh and dwelled among us. Hallelujah. This goes to show you that God took on flesh and walked among us as Jesus Christ. This is the fullness of the deity. Ooh, come on, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And when you are rooted in Christ, you are rooted in God. Hallelujah. Mm, come on, Holy Spirit. Yes, God. Yes. Verse 10 says, and in Christ, you have been brought to fullness. Mm. He is the head over every power and authority. Pay attention. Catch that. Catch that. He is the head over every power and authority. All glory to God in the name of Jesus. In Christ, we have been brought to fullness. Hallelujah. And he is the head over every power and authority. What does that mean? It means when you are rooted in Christ, amen, and you are built up in him, amen, strengthened in your faith to God be the glory. Yes, yes, yes. And knowing that you are uh, rejecting every hollow philosophy, amen, in the name of Jesus, when the authorities of the flesh, when when these um, people who call themselves making the rules, who are you know uh, uh, in the White House or in in these positions, Amen. When authorities believe that they can turn you, take you, uh, manipulate you, control you, and have power over you, Amen. You must know in the center of your soul, as you are rooted in Christ, Hallelujah, that that right there is not true. Why? Because Christ has all power and authority. He is the head over it all. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. God has the last say over every single thing. Why? Because we are rooted to grow. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, we are rooted to grow. God is saying right now to us today, when you are properly and well rooted, hallelujah, then you are bound to grow, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. To God be the glory. How do we know we are rooted to grow? What are the things that drive us that we know we are rooted properly we are rooted in god and we are going to grow from it all the time hallelujah we got to continue to walk with him the way we was when we found him the way we was when we turned ourselves over to him the way we was when we were seeking him like a thirsty person in the desert hallelujah we must continue that walk we must stay rooted in him and built up in him to god be the glory we're talking about when he activate that mustard seed of faith. Oh, glory to God. You're going to grow because you're going to be rooted in him. To God be the glory in the name of Jesus. First of all, to be rooted in Christ, you know him for yourself. Say that you know him for yourself. To God be the glory. You don't spend time with him. You spend prayer with him. You meditate with him. When situations come, you call first on him. You don't call your girlfriend on the phone. You don't call somebody to talk about it. You don't whine and cry to anybody else. The first call you make glory to God is to Christ in prayer. Hallelujah. You know him for yourself. Because why? You are rooted, rooted to grow, to God be the glory. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, God, yes. To be rooted in Christ is to know him for yourself. Hallelujah. To be rooted in Christ 
is to grow in the Lord. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something about being rooted. If you are rooted, you are bound to grow. If you are rooted well and you are being nourished properly, you are bound to grow in the name of Jesus. To God be the glory. When you are rooted in Christ, you are rooted in God. And when you are rooted in that, in your faith, to God be the glory, you are bound to grow. What does that growth mean? It means when situations come, you'll be so strong in Christ that it won't shake you. You'll be so strong in Christ that you won't worry none. You'll be so strong in Christ that can't nobody tell you no lies. You'll be so strong in Christ that no situation can turn you around. Mm, hallelujah, Holy Spirit. Come on, Jesus. Yes, God. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. And thirdly and lastly, when you are rooted to grow, you are bound to grow because through Jesus Christ, God's mercy and grace nourishes us. Hallelujah. You know that nothing planted will grow unless it's watered and nourished and loved on. Mm, come on, Holy Spirit. Nothing planted will grow unless it is watered and nourished and loved on. And that is what God's grace and mercy does for us when we are rooted to grow in Christ. Hallelujah. God's grace and mercy nourishes us and we grow. Hallelujah. We are bound to grow. Hallelujah. And that growth makes us able to go forth and make disciples of men. Hallelujah. They want to know how your spirit so grown, how your spirit so great, how your spirit so bright, how your spirit so lovely. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. You can tell them I'm rooted to grow in Christ. You want to be rooted too? Let me tell you what you do. Go see Christ. Hallelujah. Run to the cross. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. We are rooted to grow in the name of Jesus. God says on today, remember to be rooted to grow. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. To God be the glory. Oh, God. Yes, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for rooting us. Thank you for nourishing us. Oh, God. Thank you for your grace and your mercy. Oh, God. Thank you for your unmerited favor. Oh, God. When you are rooted to grow, you have unmerited favor. When you are rooted to grow, you have fearlessness in Christ. When you are rooted to grow, you have confidence in God in the name of Jesus because he's the head over all authority and power and nothing going to stop God. And Ain't nothing gonna top God in the name of Jesus. We are rooted. Mm, we are rooted to grow. All oh, glory to God. Mm, hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. Give God some praise. Father God, we thank you right now, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, for your love, your grace, and your mercy, God. We thank you, God, for this message, God. We ask that you would continue to keep us rooted to grow, God, in the name of Jesus, God. We ask that you would continue to hold us, God, accountable to you, God, in the name of Jesus, that keep us rooted to grow, God, in the name of Jesus, that we may help others be rooted to grow in you, God, in the name of Jesus. We love you, we honor you, and we truly adore you. Thank you, God. Mm. In Jesus' name, I pray. Oh, amen. Amen. Oh, amen. Mm. To God be the glory. Ooh, Jesus. This has been Minister's Minutes with Minister Tolliver, where we fellowship on worship, word, and wisdom. I do my very best to come before you Monday through Friday at 11.30 a.m. Central Standard Time. I love you like Jesus loved the church. And remember, stay rooted to grow. Bye, y'all.